Do you see this? Do you see this? Dragon Ball Z. You see this? This is what Super should have been like, guys. Hey guys, uh, what's up? Me, Ass Monkey. And um, I, uh, I just want to do like feedback. Um, my uh, reaction to Dragon Ball Super uh, episode 106. Uh, yeah, that didn't go. That didn't go too well for the other super stupid freaking fanboys. That didn't go too well. And um, uh, and first of all, if you actually enjoy the series, that's fine. That's great, guys. It's just that I just finally, I I just don't understand why you like it. And that's great if you like the series. But if you just go to my channel and hate on it just because I don't like the series, I seriously reconsider what you're doing with your life, guys, because that's just wasting time right there. It's stupid. That's what the fan base really is. And I just, I just wanted to make a little rant. Um, uh, I just want to make a little rant and, um, and, there's, and uh, why I really don't like episode 106. Uh, it's going to be a... Might be a long video, so um, uh, be ready. So, um, so nothing against you, Dragon Ball fans, but I I can see why y'all I can no never mind I was gonna say I can see why y'all are mad, but it's just stupid and because it's my opinion, guys. I understand why y'all like the series, guys. I just don't understand why people like it, and if you like it, that's fine. I have nothing against you for that, but if you go all right, I said this again. If you go hating on my channel for something I don't like, doesn't mean I'm a bad person, okay? It's stupid. It is honestly that... It's... I just... Guys, this is so just... And, and watch Heavenly Controller's video about Super. Link in the description... Link in the description for that down below. He makes a lot of good points. Just comparing Super to other anime, it's not that good. Because, yeah, yeah, if you're watching it for the sake, because it's Dragon Ball, and you know the flaws of it, that's fine. But if you just genuinely enjoy it, I don't know why, but I, I, I can see why people like it, though. So, so, um, all right. I just want to tell you the things I uh, hate about Supra. I'm going to go down the list. One, the power scaling. Two, the tournament of power. Uh, oh yeah, what else? Oh yeah, three, Goku. Oh yeah, and what was their, um, uh, there was another thing I forgot. Um, yeah, it was the power. Yeah, it was those, and there's a lot more that I want to complain about. Oh yeah, and, um, kind of the characters, but... I don't mind a lot of the characters, so yeah, I'll go down the list. So first, uh, the power scaling. The power scaling is so bad in in Dragon Ball because in Z, you can actually know how power how how powerful they are. Like they had like for half about half the series, I believe, they had official like power scaling, and it was like yeah, understandable why. But the power scaling is a bad there either. But you can at least you can at least handle it, but in Super, it makes no freaking sense, because this is, because it's basically like, Toriyama's like, make Goku this strong, the rest of the characters, you can do whatever you want with them, <laughs> and, um, and, uh, they made, uh, Roshi stupid overpowered, they made Krillin stupid overpowered, they made Tien stupid underpowered, they made him so freaking weak, <laughs> um, uh, what, oh yeah, they made Piccolo, they made Piccolo. Uh, he made him powerful, but like not too overpowered. But he got he got a power boost. Um, uh, Android seventeen. He is so so overpowered. It's not even funny. He's like he's like the like the third or fourth strongest on the team. Oh, eighteen is. A, oh, I oh I remember the fourth one now. All right, I just want to say that. Um. Um, 18 is, she got powerful, uh, yeah, and, um, uh, Frieza, um, I forgot, I honestly forgot he was in the tournament until episode 106, <laughs> I honestly forgot about that, um, and, uh, there was, 
and who else was on the team? It was oh yeah, and Gohan and Vegeta. Um, uh, Gohan, uh, I can see why he's powerful. Uh, Piccolo trained him. I can see why he's powerful. And Vegeta, hmm, he's he's kind of the same. Hmm. He's kind of the same. So yeah, um, the power scaling is just uh, not really cutting it. Um, so number two, Goku. He is completely out of character in Super from Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z. He is completely out of character, guys. I mean... Oh my god. I just... Oh my god. Am, am I even going to risk talking about Goku? And Goku and Dragon Ball Super is possibly my least favorite character ever, guys. I'm not even joking. He is... Let's just say he is, um, he is, <laughs> he's just greedy, guys, all right? In, in, in Z, he was greedy, but it was in a different, it was in a different type, type of, type of way. I mean, like, he was, he was kind of greedy in power, but he kind of was greedy in power, but he's more greedy in the spotlight now, guys. It, it's just, uh... I, I don't, I don't know about other people, but I honestly just hate Goku and Super. Uh, it's just, I just don't think that Goku is the character he was before. I think that he's just possibly the, like, like the worst character in Super. I mean, like my favorite characters in Super right now is Seven Android Seventeen and Vegeta, because those are actually the decent, like the, at least the decent characters in Super, at least to me. If you like any other people, tell me in the comments. Uh, I, I personally don't like Goku and Super. That's just me, though. And uh, three. Oh, yeah. The Tournament of Power. Before. All right. All right I was going to say this. Before the Tournament of Power happened, the um, uh, Battle of Gods and Resurrection F, that really wasn't necessary. And um, uh, the Universe 6 versus Universe 7 Tournament and um, uh, the Future Trunks arc, those were all right. I mean, like, they weren't terrible. They weren't that good either. And, uh, and, and, uh, it was like, it had, it had a good fighting, it had decent fighting, it had, it had, a uh, good story, and it also had, it also had, <laughs> uh, it had, it had a good story, it had a decent story, we can know their motivations behind it, cause Kava, when he was super mad, he really wanted to kill Vegeta, cause he thought he was really gonna blow it up. Uh, Goku being really naive, doing Ka Super Kai, uh, Super Kaioken, Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken, and uh, the Trunks arc was pretty good, but the Tournament of Power just went way downhill. It just went way downhill. It's uh, it's really uh, it's kind of messed up, guys. The Tournament of Power is. Just, especially the one with TN. The, the TN episode was, I didn't like it. I mean, like, it had, it had good humor. It had, all right, guys, it had good humor, decent humor. It had, uh, it had good, it had decent fight scenes and, uh, yeah, good dialogue. But it's just TN. It's just I don't think Tian got the treatment he deserved. I just, I just feel like he didn't get the treatment he deserved because, because because T um no um, uh, Roshi and Krillin they they had um they had more time to shine than Tian guys. You don't know how much I, you don't know how personal that is for me because I love Tian as a character. He's my favorite character in the entire series, guys. He is just and do you know that's kind of messed up for me and for other people. And when I said it was a 2 out of 10, I was kind of exaggerating. For real, maybe a 4 out of 10. For real, like, 4 out, four or 5 out of 10. The 2 out of 10, I was exaggerating about, guys. So, so there's a lot more stuff I hate about the Tournament of Power, but I don't want this to go on longer. And I just remembered four thing, the 4th, and there's a 5th one, maybe a 6th one. 4. No. Uh, I don't want to say this now because I understand like we're waiting for him, but Frieza and Majin Buu, Frieza in this tournament, guys. 
I honestly forgot he was in the tournament until episode 106. I understand. I I honestly understand that people uh, that people really uh, that uh, Frieza had like this tournament just started and Frieza hasn't really done much yet. I understand that and I want to see Frieza, but it's just kind of dumb. Oh, and uh, another thing, they wasted more character potential with Majin. Freaking boo. Do y'all know? Majin Buu was like. I was really a hype for Majin Buu in this tournament, and then when I heard Frieza was replacing him, I was so. I was. I heard he was being replaced. I was mad. And I was hoping that, like, maybe, like, maybe Yamcha would replace him. I, I would like to see, like, the other things get more time to shine, like Yamcha and Tien. I'd love to see that, guys. But no, nope, they went for Frieza. He's been resur he's been in Super before, guys. He's been all right. He's been resurrected. He's been rebuilt in in um Z. He's been in like two Dragon Ball movies already. He's been in Super once, and he's being in Super twice again. That's four times of him coming back. This is four. Do y'all know how stupid that is to bring Frieza back? It's just... It's just dumb to me. I understand people like Frieza and like, oh, the fanboys just love Frieza. But... I just don't have that personal connection to Fri It might be I don't have that personal connection to Frieza that other people do. I just feel, he's a good villain, but it's just the same return again. It's just pretty dumb. And, uh... This really isn't concerning Super. This kind of rant in general, but... The fanboys. The fanboys. I hate them. It's rough. Irritating. No, it gets everywhere. <laughs> Alright, um... Here's what I hate. If you say something bad about Dragon Ball, no matter what, if you hate it, if you say something bad about it, do you know how many people will hate you now? Do you know how many people will hate you now? That's what happened in my video, guys. I said I didn't like the episode personally. And I was thinking 2 out of 10, I was exaggerating. Oh, and guess what? They, oh yeah, um, alright, um, uh, alright, but let's think of, um, uh, the Dragon Ball language, uh, for other fanboys, alright? Um, oh yeah, uh, Dragon Ball's good. Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, all those, all those things. Good. Dragon Ball's good. Dragon Ball Super's good, and uh, Dragon Ball's good. Uh, and other characters, guess what's not in their vocabulary? Flaws and opinions. Do y'all know just how bad the fandom is? It's even worse than the freaking Sonic fan base to me. And do you know how bad the Sonic fan base is? Do y'all know how bad the Sonic fan base is? It is terrible, in case you don't know. Same with the Star Wars fan. Well, Star Wars fan base isn't as bad, because there's some things about the Star Wars fan base I like, guys. But the Dragon Ball fan base is possibly the worst anime fan base to me, and uh, probably fan base in... Well, well, no, the worst fan base in general is Five Nights at Freddy's. All right, guys? Um, that's the worst fan base in general. At least to me. Dragon Ball isn't the worst, but it is one of the worst. Like, number two or number three. So, um, yeah, I, um, uh, <sighs> what else was I going to say about these fanboys? Oh, yeah, they don't understand, oh, I already said, they don't understand opinions, they don't understand the meaning of opinions, guys. It is just, it is just stupid, and, then, <sighs> like, they they just want you to like say nothing bad about the sugars because if you say something bad, they'll just get on you and on you and on you, and that's why I'm not recommending super to anybody. I'm not recommending that crap to anybody. I mean like, I mean like yeah, if you've seen the Battle of God's Resurrection F movies, just watch the, just watch the um, uh, Universe Six versus Universe Seven, in trunks. I recommend you do not watch the Tournament of Power. It's it's laughably bad, guys, alright? It's laughably bad compared to Z and other anime. And, uh... <laughs> it has a good humor. 
But besides that, that's just it. So, um, uh, there's gonna be a lot more stuff I want to say, but, um, uh, yeah, the power scaling's bad, I already said that. What else is on my list? Uh, there's other things on my list. Oh, yeah, character potential. Character potential. Y'all brought in a tournament of power to get the smaller characters to get their time to shine. Y'all brought in Krillin, Roshi, Tien, Majin Buu, the androids, and Piccolo. And have, most of them are doing alright, but the ones the ones who I really love, I, they aren't getting their time to shine. Because Tien, he didn't even get his own episode. He didn't get his time to shine as Krillin and Master Roshi did. And Majin Buu isn't even in the tournament. And do you know how many people were mad that Majin Buu was not in the tournament? I don't blame them, guys. I do not blame them. It's it's ridiculous. And the thing that we're really ma that's really making it bad is that Toriyama isn't even working on the anime. It's the writers. They choose what they want to do with it. Toriyama's working on the manga. That's why I'm recommending you read the manga. Instead of the anime. And. And. Um, I think that's mainly the writer's fault. And Tor also Toriyama's. But he's not working on the anime. And. Um, and. Uh, it's just. Really. Really bad over overall. Oh yeah. And. Uh, yeah. Fan base. Is terrible. And Tor, all right, I said it's Toriyama. Like Toriyama is in the writer's fault for screwing up most of the cast, guys. All right, I feel like the only decent characters were Piccolo, Vegeta, eighteen, and Roshi. I mean, not Roshi, seventeen. Those, those are possibly my favorite characters in Super. I mean, like I, I tried my best to love Tien again. All right, I tried my best. To have him be my favorite character in Super again, but for how they're how they're treating Tien, oh yeah. Also, that was another point. How they're treating Tien, Tien, it's it's just I hate it, guys. It's it's painful to watch, guys. Because if you see your favorite character just go down without having any any good moments in the series, like your favorite character. What do you, th how would you feel? How would you feel about it? You probably won't feel too good because I'm like, oh, I'm glad for y'all that you won't feel too good because there's a theory that in the outro, it's going into the order that characters are going to be knocked out. And if it's that's true, Vegeta is going to be the next one knocked out. And I can't wait for these triggered, stupid fanboys to actually, in to, to see Vegeta come out like, oh, why? Super sucks. I'm like, finally, you agree with me. And that one's be laughing because I won't give a crap about Vegeta. All right, guys? Um, I love Vegeta as a character. But for other fanboys who, like, love Vegeta and who hate me, I'm just going to be laughing at them. And I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. What did you say? Um, what did you say? I'm sorry. I thought, I, 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 I thought you said that he was really powerful. Um... <laughs> Uh, and uh, it's just really how they're treating a lot of characters in general because they're treating Goku, Tien, and I think it was. I feel like they're also well. Freeze is Freeze is Freeze. He's good. I have. I don't feel like they're giving Krillin a lot of good moments as well. I mean, like he like he got a good time to shine. I really like Krillin, but it's just something about Krillin just really doesn't like me. I just don't like him in Super, and you yeah, have the music. This really isn't a bad thing, because the music isn't terrible. It's just... It's music, guys. It's, it, it's music. I mean, like, he can listen to it, but... It's just... It, it's not as good as Dragon Ball, but then again, it's not Bruce Falconer. Uh, so... Yeah. And, uh... And, you know, for anyone who's who's thinking, like, Oh, oh, you, oh you're a triggered TN boy. Fanboy. Like, oh, you're triggered. You got out. I'm like... I already know he's gonna get it out, guys. I already know. He and I'm not expecting him to get the same treatment that Goku and Vegeta are. So like being like, oh, the main characters. I'm not expecting that, guys. I'm expecting him to at least have good moments like Roshi and Krillin, guys. Alright? 
it's just, I, I know that he's not going to get the same treatment that Goku and Vegeta and Gohan are. I know that, guys. I'm not, I'm not a blind Dragon Ball fanboy, alright? I can see the stuff that's wrong with the series, unlike y'all. Just, you can't just you you can't just be a blind fan of something, guys. Heavenly, have I probably should be done with this rant because it's I'm running out of breath, and also um I don't want this to go on for too long. So yeah, watch Heavenly Controller. If you watch him. He makes so many good points in his video. Link in the description for that down below. So, yeah, I honestly hope that that clears things up why I really don't like Super. If you like Super, that's fine. I just don't like it when people just go to my channel and just hate on me just because I don't like something, guys. Alright, it's, it's just like... Uh, are you freaking serious? <laughs> and the mashup thing I made this morning, that video. That one got that's what got the fanboys. I I would love to be in more mashups, but it's just that. I need to I need to be more careful about this. You see, you, this is why I did Sonic the Hedgehog content, guys. This was why I did Sonic instead of Dragon Ball. Because it's so bad. I mean Dragon Ball's bad. It's turn, it's turning terrible. It was like, okay, I need, I, I'm still watching Super, but it's like, there's nothing really good about Super to me. I mean, like, except for the humor and a couple of the fight scenes, it's just that, it's just that, you, you know. Oh yeah, another thing I want to mention: there's no stakes in the tournament of power. No one died. <laughs> there's really no stakes in the tournament of power, guys. All right, um. So, I need to, I need to stop this rant, and I hope that y'all can see why, I, I, why, because like, I'm tired of people just like, oh yeah, I remember what I was talking about. Oh yeah, so anyway, the Dragon, why I'm doing Sonic content instead of Dragon Ball is because Dragon Ball is turning so bad for me, I'm just done with it. I, I, if they keep doing bad Super, I'm just gonna give up on Dragon Ball, like, maybe in general. I don't know. It's just, Super, Super just needs to die. At least to me, Super needs to die. And the voice actor of Goku, Nozaka Nozal, I forgot, it's hard to say her name. She wants 700 more episodes. And, and I'm like, ARE YOU FUCKING HOT? So yeah, this is basically my rant for Dragon Ball. I trust you. This is the end. I trust you. This is uh, the end. I uh, this is just, this is my rant for Dragon Ball. I'm done with this video. I hope this got you to like know know and understand why I don't like Super. So yeah, I just want to say this again. If you like Super, that's fine. If you don't like Super, that's fine. If you hate me, that's fine. But don't go on my channel. Just disliking videos, those 10 year olds just disliking those videos, or those adults, or those adults just disliking those deals, just because that they're a blind fan of something, guys. Or those adults who act like 10 year olds just disliking those videos. So, yeah, uh, <laughs> thank you a lot for watching. Hope you understand why I don't like it now. If you enjoyed this rant and agree with me, I recommend you subscribe, turn on bell notifications, and like this video. So yeah, until then, I'll see you all in the next video.